All right, so I'm going to show the difference between changing the specs on items in Plant 3D with the uh, built-in method and then another method that I've created uh, to hopefully make things more efficient. So uh, we're going to select our items and change it through the properties. So I'm going to select one of these. I have to be careful not to select lines and other like objects that might uh, keep me from being able to change the spec through properties. So I'm going to grab that and add the rest of the parts to my selection and I don't want to change the support here so I'm going to deselect it and the spec that I'm starting in here it's got socket weld valves uh, and some flanged fittings as well this is two inch uh, and the spec that I'm going to is going to be uh, two inch uh, flanged valves so it's going to trip up a little bit here as we go through the uh, standard method. So we'll go ahead and start that. So we're going to go to spec and change that to this uh, AA, AA1 and let it do its thing. And I'll probably get quite a few error messages here. Um, it's telling me this because this spec doesn't actually exist in this project either, which causes problems. So. It's going to close these as they pop up. So it's trying to change like some uh, uh, stuff in here, but it's it's not finding the right flanges and stuff. So uh, this is pretty typical for changing specs unless everything just really lines up perfectly. So I'm just going to close all these goofy error messages. And this is what we've got. Threw in some wonky substitute pieces and the welds are all jacked up. Threw in this uh, socklet up here. Um, I did some kind of crazy stuff here. I don't, I don't know what all it's uh, thinking, but that is not ideal. Then we've got some weird missing stuff over here. So. I'm going to undo this. Uh, let's see where we went. Go back to the original spec, and we're going to do the. We're going to change the spec again, but we're going to use this method that I made. So we go to the Modify tab and Plant 3D Tools. Let's change spec. It's going to prompt me for my objects, so I'm just going to window everything here. It doesn't matter that I grabbed lines and that support. It won't and this block right here, it doesn't matter. You can just window the whole thing. It's going to deselect the stuff that it's not supposed to change. I'm going to hit enter, and then it's going to ask me the spec I want to go to. I'm going to, once again, go to this A spec here, hit accept. And now it's going to give me a list of items that it can change to. And the ones that have a direct replacement, it's going to automatically check for me. But notice that there are three rows here that it didn't check and one is this uh, gate valve so that's these little um, socket weld gate valves down here um, actually that's these socket weld gate valves here and it doesn't the two inch uh, there's two of them here so there's the quantity that's the size there's two of them here that it it, uh, it didn't automatically find a direct replacement for so I'm going to tell it to use uh, 150 pound gate valve instead and I'm going to check that box so it replaces it. Go down to the next unchecked row and this is a control valve. I don't want to change it. I'm going to leave it alone um, because I want to keep it as a control valve. And the globe valve here, it doesn't have a two inch a socket well globe valve so I'm going to see what it does have. It's got a two inch uh, raised face globe valve, 150 pounds. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to check the box so it switches it and now once I've got all that resolved I'm going to hit replace parts and it's going to go through and replace all that with without a bunch of annoying pop-ups um, and without all the other wonky stuff that was going on with the uh, other tools so that's what it does um, let me know if you have any questions thanks